Hey, welcome back to the channel everybody. Just had to show you to give you a perspective. Getting near full. I want to show you just what it looks like. 13.67 is where we're sitting at. That's 99.5% full. And it's still going to run up to that 14.3 or 14.2 thereabouts. 12.7, 12.6, those are amps coming in off the solar. 298.3 amp hours on the way to 300. So, <laughs> less than 2 amp hours to get in there. 99.5. Five percent full. Thirteen point six eight. Thirteen point seven. Ninety nine point six percent full. Now this is something I would have never known without this battery monitor. Thirteen point seven, which I've seen before, I would have never known without this that I only have. 1.3 amp hours left to push into this thing before it absolutely is 100% full. 99.6 at 13.71. Now it's just going to race up there. Looks like it's going to let me show you just how crazy this is, just how fast it goes to the very top. So 13.7, you know, you're really there. You're at a full charge, but we're going to push that last amp. 13.73, 99.7. Still letting in 12 amps of solar. 13.73. Thirteen point seven nine seven eight ninety nine point eight thirteen seven nine still letting in almost thirteen amps of solar as it finishes off. This will start dropping down real quick because as you can see there's just no room to push anything else. For once the sun is cooperating, 13.82, you can see it just run, run, run now, right up to the top. 99.9% full. 13 amps still coming in. Or 12 amps coming in, I'm sorry. 13.86 on battery voltage. So, there it is. That's like 100% full, but it's going to run right up now. 99.9. .9. And there it is. Just clicked over to 100% full. I wasn't letting the camera run the whole time, but it only took a few more seconds to go there. 13.89. That's 100% full. It's going to still run up till uh, it shuts off at about 14.2, which is what I let it to go up to. But as you can see now, it's just running real fast. 94, 13, 9, 4, 9, 5. 100% full. There's the amp hours. It's going to allow it to go to... Uh, 300 it's at 299.8 so in the next couple of minutes it'll just go ahead and push in that last little bit to get it up there 13.95 volts fourteen volts so this is 
I just have to say that this monitor just makes everything clear about what you're running on your lithium battery uh, pack. Before, when I was running around with a voltmeter and chasing it around, yeah, you can get all these same things. It's a lot more work. Now you can just come in here, take a glance, and see where you're at. 14.0345. You can see it's just going to just go on up to finish off every last little bit you can get. You're at 100% already. Now, now the amperage is starting to drop off the solar panel. There you go. You can see it. Instead of, you know, 13 and 12, it's, it's going down. Fourteen one, And just to show you the discrepancy on things, with the MT50 and the EP Ever 40 amp controller there, gives just a little bit different reading. It's showing uh, the battery voltage at 14.2. You can see it's starting to drop down now. I'll try and get that light back on for you so you can see it better. Only allowing in five, five amps. That's it. It's done. It'll shut that off completely to zero amps coming in. As you can see, it dropping fast. And here it is finishing. Only allowing 1.6 amps to come in now. Of course, 100% full. Battery voltage at 14.05. And that's about exactly what I like. I want to just get it up to that 14. And uh, and I'm going with this as being the most accurate. That MT50 runs just a little bit high, even a volt or two. But this is what I want right there. So it's just going to keep going down now that it's done. And it'll hold it at about 13.5 off and on for the rest of the day. What it does is it lets you draw down 13.4-ish. And then it'll open up the panels, get it back up to 13.5, since that's what I have my float set at. So, anyway, I hope some of you guys found this as interesting as I do. This is, this is just what you need for lithium, for sure, is a, is a good battery monitor show you where you're at. And you don't have to get up to a full charge. You don't have to get up to 100%. Today was just a day that uh, I knew it was going to, and I was able just to run in here and make a, a quick video for you. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful in any of you with this. And I can save you from running around with that voltmeter like I did for weeks. There it is, you know, not just barely an amp coming in on its way down. A good charging day. Aloha.